Okay, we're at gotomath.com. Click on the calculus button. Finding the area between the curves. Find area of the shaded region. Round answer to two decimal places. I'm not sure why two. I've been doing three, but whatever. Click. Whoa, this is a nightmare problem, I'm going to tell you. Find area of the shaded region. Round answer to two decimal places. So this is what we're looking at kind of similar to the last problem um, you know how to find this from the previous problem right I showed you how to find this uh, point of intersection or the x value associated with that and uh, this is a different story yep this one is a different story on how to find that Okay, so what we're going to do here is, I'm just going to explain this to you. We're going to go from zero to, uh, we're going to break this thing up. And uh, you know what, let me just write this stuff down. We'll go over to the whiteboard so I can scribble out some stuff. I am not going to work this out for you, but I am going to set it up. Um, there is going to be a detour you're going to have to take. We're finding one of the bounds because that's going to be the only way you're going to be able to do it. So calculus builds on itself, just to let you know. Builds on itself. Let's let's uh, let's go over here to the whiteboard. Let's write some things down. So we have f of x. It's one of those challenging problems. F of x equal to e. I mean, you shouldn't have any problems working on it all night, th uh, Friday night or something. You can get all your friends together, work on this problem. G of x is equal to e to the x, and h of x. You know, I have a calculus party, man. That's what I'm talking about. Bring the green tea. If <laughs> I sit around drink green tea, this is a teapot problem. No, this is not a teapot problem, but anyway. Um, okay, let's 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 sketch some stuff out here. Oh boy, you think I'd been drinking or something after that guy? We have e to the x, which is going to do something like that. We have this guy here, which is doing something like this. Ooh, that's not going down to zero. That's uh, that's messed up. Don't worry about that. All right, and then um, that's messed up. You see this right here? This is, should be a horizontal asymptote of three. So that's okay. The graph's not good. Not a good graph. But and then we got this guy here. And shade in what we're looking for. We're looking for that piece there. All right. Alright, so what you're going to have to do is break this up, find uh, this x-coordinate here, and then this one right here, you'll have to find that x-coordinate here. So what you'll do is you'll integrate underneath this curve and then subtract off this piece here. Okay, we're going to call this x of 1 and we'll just call that x of 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this up for you. All right. So we got the integral going from 0 to x of 1, 0 to x of 1, and it'd be this top curve minus the bottom. Let's look. All right. Um, this top minus the bottom. This is the piece right here. We're looking at. All right. I guess it's best to look at that graph instead. So this would be, uh, let's see, g of x, right? So that'd be e of x minus, right, this guy here, which is 0.7x dx. So you're going to need to know, you're going to have to figure out how to find x of 1. So you're being quizzed, basically. And we did this in the previous problem on how to find this guy right here, okay? Now... All right, so that's going to give us this shaded region right here. Now to find this shaded region, which let's go over. OK, 
okay, to find this piece right here, we'll be going from here to here. All right, just going back. So we're going to go plus. So we'll be going from x of 1 as our lower bound up to x of 2, we'll call it. And that would be, look at the top, minus the bottom, right? So this is going to end up being um, e to the negative x plus 3 minus the bottom one, which is uh, 0.7x. So you shouldn't have any problems taking the integrals of this stuff. The only issue you're going to have is finding x of 2. Now, finding x of 2, that means that you're going to set both, of, both uh, let's see, this and this equal to each other, and I'm going to do that right over here. e to the negative x plus 3 is equal to 0.7x. I'll just leave off the 0 there. So you need to solve for x in this problem. And uh, I couldn't really find an easy way of doing this. be honest with you. I'll be honest about something. Somebody out there can find an easy way of doing that. You let me know. It's equal to, okay, I'm multiplying e to the x all the way across. So we have 0.7x e to the x. All right. Uh, take, I'm going to go ahead and take everything over. 0 is equal to 0.7x e to the x minus 3e to the x minus 1. All right. Well, guess what we're going to use? Well, this anyway, uh, in the script, the way I did it was <clears throat> the method I used for finding the, uh, finding the zeros to this guy is, guess what I'm about to write? Yes, I'm writing it right here. Newton's method. Newton's method. That's what I used was Newton's method. All right. Yep. And uh, actually, I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and get this number, the sex value, and then let you use Newton's method. Now, you need to find Newton's method on the website there you've forgotten how to use Newton's method. Okay, we're not going to talk about that. It's quiz time. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this and be right back. Okay, so I end up getting, and of course this is an approximately, now I'd probably go out to, uh, I don't know, I think I did in the programming, I think I did four iterations or five iterations can't remember how many iterations I did, but you know that's the reason I've got it set to two decimal places. So try to go out a little bit. Um, I don't know. Okay. Um, you know if you're close off by a decimal place, you know you did it right. Anyway, so using Newton's method to find the uh, roots to this thing, this is probably uh, this particular form right here could uh, probably get you in trouble, okay? Uh, just take over this 0.7 e to the negative x um, minus 0.7x uh, plus 3, all right? Probably just use, use that right there instead of using this. Um, anyway, okay, just to let you know. So this should be your x of 2, actually. Actually, that's your x of 2, isn't it? Okay, so I'm not going to tell you how to get x of 1. That was in video 6.1. And then, of course, you just take the integral of this, take the integral of that, and then remember we had to break it up into two separate ones, and then add it to the integral of this. And uh, your answer should be, let's click Answer, 5.44, okay, 5.44, all right, well, actually, after I kind of work through all this stuff, 
I got about 5.43621. Yada yada yada. Now there's probably some, I think I rounded or something, but we should get something close to 5.44. And uh, when I clicked here, that's what I get. Now the script, you know, I go out to like 15 decimal places or something. Even though, you know, we talk about significant figures um, and accuracy. But I'm sure if you get something close to that, you'll be good to go. You should get that. Now in the script, I do five, I think five iterations. I think four, four or five iterations in Newton's method. So that's going to actually um, be significant probably, maybe. If you don't know Newton's method, you come right on over here, right? Click on that. And uh, we show how to do that. That particular problem, I think I have, let me see here real quick, two functions, is that it? Yeah, and we're finding the actual, the x value, x coordinate associated with this guy right here, I believe. Okay, except differs by less than 0 0.001. But anyway, you know, you set these both equal to each other, but then take the two x over here. I could do ooh, initial guess six. Ooh, there is something that I need to say. You're going to be wondering how do I come up with an initial guess? Okay. Uh, just guess five. Um, or you can just look at this graph here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this one actually happens to be a little more uh, five. But like, let's click on this real quick. Okay, you got one, two, three, four. So you can kind of do the initial guess at at four. Do the initial guess at four. Okay. Anyway, practice that. It's a challenging problem. Got to use Newton's method. Got to go back and learn a few things. All right, and remember a few things. We're here at gotomath.com, stretching your brain out. See you later.